Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss what is the properties in SOAP UI, what is the use of properties and why we are using. Okay, so now let's start. First of all, let me explain why we require these properties. Okay, so basically uh, like here, if I am talking about the APIs, so in APIs, uh, we are using the endpoint URL. And similar time, we are using some test data, we are using some uh, like uh, credentials, all those de details we are using, right? So some configuration details, some test data. So now if I am passing the, here if I'm taking the example of endpoint URL. So this endpoint URL, we need to pass each and with for each and every request. How many test cases we are going to, create in all test cases we need to use this endpoint url now suppose that there is a scenario where we need to execute these test cases what we have written what we have added in the soap ui in a different environment different environment means the different endpoint url okay all the request is same only we need to run this against with different environment different endpoint url so how we do that Okay, so here different endpoint URL means like suppose that we have also multiple environment, queue environment, uh, right, dev environment, staging environment, uh, multiple environments we have while working, while performing the testing. So now suddenly we, there is a requirement is come came to check this on a suppose that staging environment or a queue environment or a test environment, then how we do that, how we run. So in that case, if you want to run it, this in different environment, then we need to update these URL with the new URL, right? Like for staging environment, we need to update. So if we have suppose that 50 test cases, 50 requests added here in the SOAP UI, then we need to update all these in 50 places, okay? So to reduce this problem, to solve this problem, uh, SOAP, U, uh, SOAP UI uh, is provided to, uh, a properties where we can skip create some uh, properties okay and you can use that okay so properties we can create three places one is the at a project level second is the suit level third is the test case level okay this is a project so if you click on the project you will get here one section right properties here click on these properties so let me delete this. So I have already added, so I, I removed these properties. Now this is blank. Initially, when you, you will open, you will see this as a blank. There is no properties created. Now how we create the properties and what is the properties? So basically properties is a key and value, right? Pair where key and value, like here I am going to use URL and we can put here the values. And uh, this values, uh, this is a actual like uh, our value, like I, I am going to use here the URL. So I will place here the URL. Okay, this one. Yeah, so these properties I defined at a project level. One property is created here. So, okay, so now how we use these properties in our test in our request. Similar type other properties we can create at a suit level. If I click here, you can create here the suit level. We can also create the properties as a test level, okay? A test case level. So three places we can create the properties, project level, test suit level, and test case level. Okay, and its scope is also defined like that. If we are creating any properties at a project level, then that properties you can use throughout any throughout the project in any request you can use within any suit. But if you are defining any properties at a suit level, then you can access only within the suit. You cannot access outside of the suit. Within the suit, you can use that. Okay, you cannot use with in a different test suit. Similar type, if you are creating a properties at a test case level. So here, if you define the properties, then these properties you can use only within the uh, test steps. In other tests, 
If you want, then you can create separate properties. So that's why while creating the properties, we need to think like where we need to define. If we want to use the globally, then we can we will create the at a project level. Okay. So now let me show how we use these properties. So you can create here multiple properties as much as properties you can. Okay. This is the plus button, click on plus button, add another properties. Okay. This delete button, if you click, then selected properties will remove. Okay. So now let me show how use this property. This is URL. Okay. So go to the request here. I'm going to use here. Okay. So first of all, you we need to call the dollar, then square bracket, highest, and this property is coming from the project. This is project properties. So first we need to call the project, then URL, properties, name. Okay, now this is done. So let me send the request and you will get the response. Yeah, getting the response. Okay, let me change some value here. In the JSON test, you can see test. Now, next we can also create the properties at a suit level. Okay, and how we call the properties from suit level. So we can click here. Okay, let me use here URL. Okay, and uh, then I can pass, save this URL. Okay, this is the value. And now if I want to use the pro these properties in re any request and its scope is only within the suit level. Okay, so how we use that? So this is coming from test suit. So just use the test suit, this one. Okay, then it will fetch the properties URL which is defined here at suit level. You can see working. So this test suit is not like a test suit name. You can give any name. So test suit means this is the fixed keyword. Like test suit, I'm giving you two, okay? Okay, one is two is already created. Let me give the one. Okay, so if I run this, you can see so if you want to use the test suit properties property, right? You can call use the highest test suit and then value. This these properties also we can you can call in the request body how uh, JSON body how we do that. Let me see. Here suppose that I am going to add the name docs. Okay, so now here we can call like uh, dollar highest test suit then name and then closing the print okay so now send the request mm, one minute You can see here the, okay. I need to pass this here. Okay, so I forget to mention here the highs, right? Before the suit, we also need to use the highs. Okay, now let me send. You can see docs, docs, both value are coming in response. It means in request, we are uh, passing the docs. Let me change the value and you will get like, uh, I am giving the cat. Okay, so let me run. You can see cat is coming in response. Okay, so now we can also create a variable at a test case level. 
okay so when we are creating any properties as a test case level so its scope is only within the properties within the test cases you cannot access outside of the test like here i am going giving the id okay id i am giving here 100 okay so let me call this so how we use this we can use uh, first uh, dollar this okay then here test case then id and closing the breaker let me send you can see in response we are getting 100 okay so it means we can pass the uh, like uh, anywhere where you want to pass the uh, test case properties okay just call the high dollar square uh, curly brackets highest test case then id okay similar type if you want to call the suit properties use the test suit then properties name okay by using dollar brackets as well as highest okay so thanks for watching the video